Once there was an old lady named Melissa Snodgrass. Melissa Snodgrass lived in a huge mansion with hundreds of rooms. Her goal was to play a game of checkers on her tablet in every room of her house. And there were a lot of rooms. Then one day, she finally got her wish. I finally got my wish to play checkers in every room of my mansion. Hmm, I've never noticed that door before. Preposterous! Another hallway with more rooms? How could that be? Alright, I'm cursed. That's right, Melissa Snodgrass is cursed. But you're curious about why she's cursed. Now here we are, 60 years ago. Melissa Snodgrass is sitting in her college dorm room surrounded by her most prized possessions. I don't have enough stuffed animals! <laughs> I wish I had a Chippendale stuffy. Oh, I love this part! Lloyd! What's that I hear? Someone needs help! I must go help them, for that is what fairy godmothers do! My collection will never be complete! My life stinks! Who are you? Oh, I'm a fairy godmother, and I have come to help you. What do you need? I need a Chippendale stuffy. But you already have so much. What kind of a fairy godmother are you? I'm sorry, but you need to be cursed. Abracadabra, zippity zam! Melissa Snodgrass, you will now never get what you want. You will get the opposite. She had to get used to getting the opposite of what she wanted. Oh, how I wish I had some lovely color markers. <gasps> the curse! It's broken! Wait a minute. Melissa Snodgrass is cursed. Oh, the curse! These markers are dried out. Oh, how I wish I had a luxurious car in which I can drive around in. This is a luxurious car! Then one day, during the coronavirus outbreak, a knock came on Mr. Snodgrass's door. Why do you have to bother me? Are you Mrs. Snodgrass? I am. Hi, my name is Bob and I come from the orphanage. Uh, we're very concerned about our orphans catching the coronavirus and we know that you live in a huge house and you haven't gone out in a long time so we think you're safe from the virus. We also think that our orphan uh, Izzy here will be safe in your house. Would you mind if she stayed with you for a little bit? If I must. Where should I put my things? Anywhere you want, I don't care. Izzy started going through the rooms of the house, looking for a room that just might have something interesting in it. Then she happened upon the room where Mrs. Snodgrass kept her precious stuffed animals. Maybe Mrs. Snodgrass will let me sleep with this tonight. Um, excuse me, Mrs. Snodgrass? I was wondering if I could have the stuffed animal to sleep with. These stuffed animals are not a toy. And plus, you're too old for stuffed animals anyway. <laughs> She's being so selfish. I gotta run away back to the orphanage. The next day, Mrs. Snodgrass spent much of the morning in her bedroom. Hmm, I wonder where that girl is. Oh my, she's run away. That's very dangerous for her. I wonder why she ran away. Why do you think she ran away? Yes, it's me. I can talk. You were being so selfish. You didn't even really like the stuffed animal that you wanted to sleep with. You're right. I have to go apologize. Izzy, what's wrong? I know it's safer for me to be away from my friends, but 
I'm so lonely without them. Well, I have something that might cheer you up. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you! <gasps> I remember you. Yes, it's me, your beloved fairy godmother. I have come to tell you something. I see that you have learned your lesson, that being selfish not only hurts others, but also yourself. I see that you have learned this in your heart. So, I will lift your curse. Abracadabra, zippity zam. You will now never have to worry about getting the opposite of what you want ever again. Now that you're here, can I have that Chippendale stuffy now? Melissa! Just kidding!